hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to share to you five tips in order for you to have a successful u.s visa interview okay so keep on watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel first of all there are different kind of visa so one most common is the tourist visa but in my video today i'm going to share to you how i was able to pass the interview for j1 teacher because I am a J1 teacher here in the US, so that is what I'm going to share to you. How I how I was able to successfully pass the J1 teacher visa interview. Number one tip is to have complete requirements. So for J1 visa, there are different requirements that you need to bring during your interview. So the first one is of course your passport. So you need to have your passport with you and of course photos so in my case i really went to a studio called great image in sm cebu so a great image has a lot of locations around the philippines that is a studio that specializes photographs and they also offer us visa photos so it is important for you to get a good photo because they are very strict and your picture might not be accepted if you are not going to follow their correct guidelines completing the DS-160, you need to go to BPI to pay for your visa. So as I mentioned before, there are different kind of visa. So for J-1 teacher, you need to pay $160 for your visa. So after paying in BPI, you need to keep the receipt and make sure to include that with your documents. So one important tip, place all your important documents for the visa interview in one big envelope so you will not lose anything then of course the ds 2019 so in my last vlog i mentioned about ds 2019 so the ds 2019 will come from your agency that is based in the u.s this is an important document that the u.s embassy will look for this document will tell them that you have a teaching job waiting for you in the u.s and that you are joining a teacher exchange program in the US. And last but never the least is a bank statement. So I was told that I need to have at least 100,000 pesos in my bank. I need to provide that money. So I found a way to have that money. Second tip is to stay near the embassy. So in my experience, we stayed in Bayview Park Hotel, Manila. So it was the nearest hotel in the embassy. So why do we need to stay near the embassy? There are three benefits. First is for you to not be late. So usually US visa schedule is very tight and very early. During my time, I need to be there at 7.30 a.m. So you need to really be there as early as 7 a.m. for you to go, for you not to be late for your schedule. And the second benefit is you will feel relaxed during our time we just walk from the hotel going to the embassy so it was not stressful at all and you don't need to be waiting for your ride or be stuck in traffic so that is one important thing you need to be stress-free before your interview and the third important reason why you need to stay near the embassy is when you accidentally forget something so there are cases like that that you forgot one important document or you forgot your passport so hopefully that will not happen as i said put everything in one plastic envelope but there are really cases like that so if you are staying near the embassy you can just go and get whatever you left and go back to the embassy as quick as you can my third tip is to dress in formal attire so as they say first impression last you're gonna meet the interviewer once and for that experience to leave a good impression you need to wear your best self by wearing a good attire not just the best but it should be good and comfortable what i'm saying is do not wear something just because it is trendy and fashionable but you are not comfortable first thing you need to consider when choosing your attire is comfortability because you will be lining up in embassy it's not like 
you're gonna go there and do the interview immediately no you're gonna be lining up and most of the time you will be standing so my advice if you are not used to wearing heels just don't do it so there are lots of nice shoes that has no heels but still it looks elegant and most importantly it is comfortable so for your dress there are lots of comfortable dress but it's still elegant that is just a tip from me guys so just be comfortable with your attire so the keyword is comfortability and elegance my fourth tip is to be confident and honest so interview is mostly terrifying personally i'm always scared when i will have an interview it feels like you need to really say the right word but that is not really the case so the more you sugarcoat your answer the more it will show so make sure that the interviewer will find you sincere and just say what is asked and avoid telling irrelevant information straightforward confident and honest are the three important things you need to do when doing interview because the interviewer will, will surely see if you are sincere and if you are telling the truth so during my interview guys i was asked three things first question was why do i need to go to the usa my answer was i am going to go there to teach and then he followed up with what level are you gonna teach so i answered the interviewer with i am going to teach kindergarten so the interviewer said oh that's a good level then he asked me the third question do you have any family in the usa and i just answered no i don't have any families in the usa those are my questions during my interview and i know it's different for everybody so other teachers might get more questions or other teachers might get the same questions like me so it, it it's really it's really it really depends guys on who's interviewing you last tip is of course to trust the Lord so coming here in the US is really a tough decision and this is not for everyone so even going to other countries like Singapore Canada so it's really it's really something that you really need to pray for I believe that if the opportunity is really for you God will surely make a way to make it happen for you so just always believe in God and always have faith in him. So guys, that's it. That's all for that's all for my five tips and I'm sure that there are more tips out there but these five tips really helped me a lot in order for me to be successful in my own visa interview and I hope guys that you will have your own success too and I really believe that if you put your heart into what you are doing and you pray for it nothing is impossible so for all those who are going to have their interview soon um, I wish you all the best and make sure you to leave a comment if you have more questions and if you have if you have tried these tips and you get successful please leave in the comment i really want to hear from you guys thank you so much for watching my videos and i hope that you will continue supporting my channel please click the bell so you will be notified whenever i have new uploads guys thank you so much and see you next time goodbye